been through a lot of pain, probably never know. I come from nothing, I was struggling, I was hell pro. You know they say don't nothing to stay the same forever, though. What they gon' say when they hear your song on the radio? People gon' try to tell you down, you can't let them know. They don't see the shit that you see, they need a telescope. They can't see the vision you see, they need a telescope. They don't see the shit I see, they ain't see the shit I saw. They don't know how much I love them. Uh, King Country, Young Country, whatever you want to call me. I'm from Earl, Arkansas, E Town, Prittany County. That's 25 minutes from Memphis. If you cross the Memphis Bridge, you in Prittany County. Earl, Arkansas is in Prittany County, Arkansas. Small little town. I, I stayed in a lot of places. Everywhere I used to go, they, like, they used to hear my accent, so they used to be like, you country. Like, everywhere yeah, yeah, I go, they'd be like, you country. I moved to Florida. Where I came to Florida. I used to go to school down there. I used to sell weed at the school. And it was this Haitian girl. I remember her name was Nelan. She used to, uh, She's uh, she's always everywhere I be. Like she was like in three of my classes. We only got four classes. I know she was in three, dog. I, she was in my science class. I feel like she was in my math class and another class or something, dog. But every time I be in the hallway, I be selling somebody some weed or something. She know them or something. She gonna come on like, how you know country? You know country? She introduced me to her big brother one time. She like, this country, his name country. And everybody was just went to, you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfucker, hey, country, you got some weed? Like, a motherfucker, I don't even know. This is the type of school, like, motherfucker used to walk up to me and, and, and shake my hand. I don't even know who that is. What's up, country? I rock with this shit. So, first it was country, young country. Around the time I was a Weezy fan, it used to be country P stacks. I, I used to want a middle initial like we used to F baby, so my shit used to be country P stacks. I got this shit tattooed on my arm right here with a pick and poke when I was 16. Uh, how old was I? Like seven, seven or eight, seven or eight. What well, inspired me? I was, I was like, I was inspired from within, like. And like when like when God made you to do this, like when God made you to do this, it's different, you know what I mean? Like you feel it, like it's in you, and the shit just come out of you, you know what I mean? So that that had happened, like I just knew I was supposed to be a star, like I knew I was supposed to, you know what I'm saying, make music. My first song was uh, it was me, my brother got it, I think my brother Vasco and my cousin Mac. And this back when they had, the, well they still got it, but we had the little cassette pill with the goddamn, uh, might be we had this, the cassette pill with the, uh, with the two, with the double uh, cassette decks on it. You know what I mean? So one side you could pre-record, the other side you could put a tape in with the beat on it and play your beat. And we just came over with this song, uh, In God We Trust, In God We Trust, In God We Trust, In God We Trust. In God we trust, in God we trust, in God we trust, in God we trust, in God we God we trust. And I just came on this joint with the uh with the Lord's prayer. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. That kingdom come, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven, like that. And I wrote it like that. Then they came on there and they did their thing, and that was our first song. That was made. It. I always wanted to, wanted to make music from me. My first studio session, my cousin Boonzy, uh, Daniel Hurst Media, he, he do photography. That's my cousin. He, we did it at Ain't Had It House. He used to have a computer at my Auntie Had It House. Uh, 
Rest in peace, I ain't had it. We did, I ain't had it how he just had the computer with the little microphone, you know, that's that before. Before the goddamn, uh, that before they had the interface and shit, that before nigga had USB mics, that one. When everybody would, you know, you just had the regular mic and shit. And, uh, I think he was using Mixcraft or something. Yeah, I was like, uh, 13. I wanna say 13. Yeah, cuz don't do music no more cuz a photographer. He probably still trip over that song though. Cause it said, uh, E time nigga P8, my stomping ground. If you ain't from around here, my nigga don't come around. I'm like, Pete, young nigga, I cut the lights out. Keep on talking shit, my nigga, and you gonna strike out. And it was funny cuz, it was funny cuz. Pete, everybody know Pete was the light man. Yeah, he come cut your lights off, he come cut them, cut them on. And you know, we from a little small, Earl small. So we only had like two light men, little Pete and a white man. And shit. It was fun though, we was just cracking up off of I let my brother know hear this shit. We, we, we laughing about this shit. The Ray, that's a, it's a label and an improv. You know what I'm saying? Me and some other family members, we put, it, put together for our family. It stands for uh, Righteously Anointed Family Empire. Seeing them um, the righteously, the the righteous, uh, the righteous warrior, almighty anointed family empire. The righteous warrior, almighty anointed family empire. So that's the name of your righteously anointed family empire. The horse, I mean, it symbolized a lot. I, 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 used, I used to rock with the horse. Like I was in prison and I just knew I was gonna use the horse just to, just to go with my name, country. Like it's when, they, when people say you from the country, they motherfuckers still asking, y'all ride horses? You know what I mean? But to me, I, I, I used to wear polo. I, used to, I like polo. I used to wear a lot of polo. So like I just knew that was um, that was gonna be like part of my name and part of my brand. But then when we came over Ray, I went to ask it like I was thinking like, damn, how could I, how could I like, how could I make, how could I fit this logo with with the brand? You know what I mean? And then when you when you think about righteous, you think about the beginning of times, like God made His people righteous. And when you think about the beginning of times, you think about you know what I'm saying how they was living. Like horses was like one of the first forms of transportation. You know what I'm saying? Besides the camel and the ox, or they ain't use ox for transportation, but you know, the horse, it carry a lot on his back. You know what I mean? It'll carry everything. It'll, whatever you put on his back down there, he'll carry it until he just can't, it'll break them down. And then they the type of animals that like, they don't ask for too much, like they don't do too much. Like you just gotta feed them and take care of them. You know what I mean? And they'll carry you, they'll carry carriages or whatever on their back. And so that's what they call uh, nobility. That's what they call like a noble steed. And so like, yeah, it represents nobility. So yeah, I want that to be a part of my brand. So all this shit together, like the horse, it means a lot, there's a lot behind it. And then when we get rich, you know, I'm gonna have a ranch in the acres, you know what I'm saying? With the, with the horses on that motherfucker. So I'm, 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 I might start my own, like my own uh, breed of horses and sell them and shit. And then, you know what I mean? I look at that horse like I'm the horse, I'm that horse for my family. My biggest influence, artist wise, uh, I say Boosie, like overall Boosie. But, like, before Boosie, it was Wayne, you know what I mean? And before that, when I was young, like my dad, like, when I was young, my mama didn't let us listen to rap or none of that, you know what I mean? Devil music, she didn't let us listen to devil music, you know what I mean? So all the time I heard this shit when I was with my dad, and he used to play, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, UGK and all the Memphis artists, you know, uh, Three Shit Mafia, Player Fly, Gangsta Black, Skinny Pimp, uh, man, all of them, I already said Three Shit Mafia, you know what I'm saying? All the Memphis artists, A Ball, MJG, I, was, I, was, I grew up on it. And uh, so, like, I know they, they a big influence. Uh, 
greatest mentors, when they ask me that, I always say three. I always say three people. And that's my daddy. He my greatest. My second was my granddaddy. He ain't never taught me nothing wrong. He everything he taught me, he taught me for the good. And then uh not no older, like I listen to a lot of Minister Farrakhan. I listen to a lot of I listen to a lot of his preachers and teachers and I admire I like I like the principles and the morals that they stand on. They so silent and they so righteous. So like them three. I put them three up there now. Short time goal is to get is to get new music out. I got uh a lot of music I've been working on. I ain't ready to put it out because I ain't built my foundation yet and got ready, you know what I mean? But so that's my short term goal, like to get music and visuals and get my brand uh marketed, you know what I mean? Then my short term goal. My long term goals is my vision. And my vision is to use my voice and my gift, you know what I'm saying, and my music. To bring my family closer together, closer than ever, you know what I mean, and, and build a new structure for my family, for uh, the older and the younger, something that they can have that theirs is independent from any system and anything like that, and they can grow up under, you know what I mean, and, you know what I mean, like that. So that's my long term goal. That's what I began to do with the music. I moved to St. Louis. I started coming up here in 2012. I had just got out of prison. I got out of prison from Florida, and I got my probation and shit. My paper sent to, uh, I called the Greyhound in Memphis. I got my probation and everything transferred to West Memphis, Crittenden County. And when I got back to the hood, man, I'm fresh out, and my brother got that bit hot than a bit. Like, the police, I don't know, nigga. I don't think, like, it ain't fast. Like, it ain't fast like a nigga needs to be in. in. You know what I mean? Like even if I was finna uh even if I was finna get a job and work a job and do it like that, it's still like all the jobs you gotta go to with Memphis and Mariners, you know what I'm saying? You gotta go somewhere else. All the jobs ain't like so you know what I'm saying, I ain't have a call when I first got out. My mom think my mama had she probably did, my mom probably did. Hell car. But you know what I mean, like I ain't feel like doing that. I just came back from Florida, you know what I mean, in the fast paced city. I'm not been to do all this slow ass shit, you know what I mean? So I had uh I had a cousin, I had family up here already. See my cousin Doc brought me up here and shit. He was hustling and fucking with construction and shit. I was I stayed on uh I was staying with my people now. I moved up here in 2014 with my baby mom. We was standing on the west side of a good fella. Oh, yeah, 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 you about to know it. Like, we ain't, we ain't win globe yet. Arkansas ain't win globe yet. So, God's gonna bless me to go global first with the righteously anointed. You know what I mean? Family Empire, he's gonna bless us first. And that's gonna set the tone for the whole state. You know what I mean? But we coming in righteous. They gonna know Arkansas for righteous street niggas. They gonna know Arkansas for being righteous street niggas. You know what I mean? And we gonna break that in. But as far as other Arkansas artists, when they come to my hood, I'm for Earl. Uh, PG up now, you know what I mean? Them young niggas, they doing their thing now. So, young, yeah, y'all look out for them. Them boys make good music. Uh, then, uh, well, man, I want to say some more people. You know my buddy. My buddy, my buddy, my boy been doing his thing for a minute. Uh... Goddamn yeah, me, it's a lot of young niggas, man. Goddamn yeah, me, uh, I just seen young nigga Bop do the, uh, do the, uh, the dog challenge, the major challenge. Uh, it's a young nigga, I think he from Tur, but he be in Ur, uh, Nero, H H O S. He from Arkansas, he be in the hood, uh, shit. Damn, I don't want to say nobody, then forget nobody else, you know what I mean? But, shit, shout out, shout out to Lil Rock, uh, D-Dirt, Lil Rock, Obama, they got the underground station down there, they put on for Arkansas, they gonna be big, shit, and then, like I say, Jack Boy, we finna, Jack Boy, uh, Rafe, Jack Boy, ENT, 
That's uh in the name of Jack Boy, my brother. Whatever little Jack Boy, Jack and the Good, Wilson, Lincoln, you know what I mean? Jack Boy ENT, we gonna do a bid for him. That's uh my brothers, my cousin, uh Lil Mac, uh you got TMS, that's uh Savage Zay now. You know what I mean? You got my little cool, you got a little little talk. Xavier Young. Uh, man, we got a lot, man. We got, I got.